Hello, everyone. I'm Tim, founder of Open Motors. Today, I'm going to talk about the future of mobility and the impact on our future related to mobility. So I'm going to divide this in three parts. What's happening right now, how the car of the future should be, and how we can get there. So what's happening right now? I think it's pretty obvious that electric mobility is becoming more relevant over the internal combustion engine. And players like Tesla, they are doing an amazing job integrating the whole ecosystem. Another interesting trend is that the IT industry is merging with the automotive. So technologies such as connected car or self-driving are entering in the vehicle. The problem is that actual vehicles, they are like an iPhone with four wheels. And it's very hard to change some parts of an iPhone, for example, from the iPhone 8 to put the camera of the iPhone X, for example. Same thing is happening with cars. You have to hack them. And most of the cars are only upgradable at the software level, like Tesla's, but not at the hardware level. If you want to have a safer self-driving, you need to change the vehicle. Another huge trend is that mobility as a service is becoming very relevant and ownership is shaking. So new players such as Uber, Didi, Ola, and Grab, they're becoming very, very relevant. And we were presenting our company at the Peking University and before us, there was actually the number one Chinese OEM in terms of combustion engine cars and electric cars. And it's very interesting to see, because China is the number one market for cars in general, how they see the numbers today in their market and the projection of the future. So today, everything that you can buy and own and put in, in your garage, so personal mobility, has an impact of 38% of the whole transportation system in China. Obviously, public transportation, so subways, buses, has the biggest impact, 49%. And this is pretty impressive. Shared mobility is already a double-digit number, 13%. But it's even more impressive, the projection of the future, especially coming from the number one in China. So they see that their core business, ownership cars, personal mobility, will drop from 38% to only 5%. So seven times less. Public transportation, since they, most of them have a fixed route, so they're not very efficient, will also reduce to 30%. And shared mobility will become the major form of transportation with 65% of impact. That's impressive. Also, the, according to the latest stats, from uh, strategy analytics and Intel, mobility as a service combined with AI, self-driving, it will become a huge market of $7 trillion. 3.7 for moving people, 3.2 for moving goods, such as last mile delivery, and more than 200 billion for small businesses like restaurants. Today, we have more than 1.4 billion cars circulating in this planet. The problem is that car uh, auto OEMs, they are overproducing. We have more than 100 million cars produced yearly, and we are scrapping 24-7 million only. And in mobility as a service, also the daily usage is changing completely. Usually when we own a car, we drive on an average of a two or three hour maximum a day. Because when we are sleeping, we are not driving. When we are working at our office, we are not driving. The, uh, and fleets of vehicles for Uber and Didi, actually they are pushing the car usage to the limit, more than 20 hours a day. And obviously the problem is the lifespan of the vehicle. When you have a car that you use only two or three hours a day, it can last easily 10 years. When you use it every day, more than 20 hours, some of these fleets cannot last longer than two years. 
And this is a huge problem highlighted by the economists. Already with the normal usage, we are generating a huge amount of, of uh, trash. And uh, this, is, this is called car graveyards. And this is not a third world country. This is Germany for in 2015. So definitely, we need to think about a better way to engineer, manufacture, and recycle cars. And according to the data that we collected, we definitely need to make vehicles use renewable energy, such as solar. We have to engineer the vehicle for services, because it will become the major form of transportation. And it's interesting how uh, Fortune, for example, they picture the car of the future uh, that's like a Tesla, similar to an iPhone, because Tesla is like an iPhone with four wheels. You can upgrade the software, but you cannot upgrade the hardware. So I don't think this is pretty uh, efficient, especially for fleets. And instead, we should have a vehicle that is more like a supercomputer, like a desktop PC or a server with four wheels, where you can replace parts, modules, plug and play. So the maintenance cost will drop dramatically. But also, you can upgrade parts, like sensors, sliders, to have a safer self-driving. Because these parts, they are changing every year or less. So how we can get there? First, we need to work on the core technology, the platform, the chassis, the electric motor, replaceability of the battery pack, also the drive-by-wire layer. We need to have modular body because we have a lot of new objects in the car, lighters, sensors, especially for self-driving, we need to have flexibility. We need to have a sleek integration. Also, the interior body has to be changed because this is the classic standard layout with a steering wheel. But we need to have the transition from this to this. So we can remove the steering wheel and we can have a full level five layout. The bad news is that, unfortunately, no car companies actually are doing this. Just few concepts, nothing very serious. The good news is that we are doing it. So we're making the perfect car for Uber and Didi that is electric with advanced modularity so you can easily replace parts to lower the TCO, the total cost of ownership. And also, we are the only car company allowing hardware upgradability, plug and play for new technologies. And we have the flexibility to buy cars with level zero autonomous driving, and you can upgrade through the years up to level five. And here's a short video of what we're doing. Introducing the future of the automotive industry, a ready to use road legal vehicle designed and engineered in Europe. Featuring a platform that is entirely modular, allowing vehicles to adapt to any situation, any location, any need. A truly adaptable vehicle designed and engineered for services. The modular platform allows for truly future-proofed vehicles ready to easily repair, refurbish, and upgrade any part necessary with flexibility to choose even up to level five complete autonomous driving. A fleet of self-driving, truly white label vehicles can operate up to 24 hours every day, allowing for maximum efficiency. And because the entire platform is built on a modular architecture, fleets of vehicles can last 10 times longer, customizable, modular, and upgradable, designed to last, designed to evolve. Did you like the video? Okay, <laughs> good. Thank you. So here's my email. If you want to join the next chapter of new mobility, feel free to contact us. We are hiring and we're raising money.
Thank you.